Well, hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob, Ranger Rob Country Living, and uh, let's see, it's a pretty day, it's kind of chilly out, been kind of a good day for uh, Sherry and I, um, we don't talk about our personal too much, but um, when we became caregivers, um, about April, Sherry's um, furlough kind of situation stopped. So, uh, uh, we had to live on pretty tight budget for a while. And, uh, and you know, taking care of her mom and caregiving and medical stuff and, and, and family stuff. Anyway, so today, after a couple of interviews, Sherry was happily employed today and uh, begins her new job next month. And, uh, which is great. Um, she's had the opportunity to be kind of uh, out of work for a year to take care of her mom's stuff and all that, which needed to be done. So it worked out good. So uh, we've been very blessed. Uh, sorry about the wind again. This time of year it's going to happen. Anyway, uh, the important thing is uh, we've been playing with fire here because we haven't had health insurance. And uh, so the new job that she's got... Um, happily has health insurance because we're just getting ready to sign up for the Obamacare thing and uh, which have been all right because our numbers were low um, but still now that she's employed there's no way we could stay because the price would be incredibly high so uh, that's actually really good news for us uh, being at this age you don't want to be going without health insurance and if we get the COVID thing or all that stuff at our age we could be a very costly uh, situation so we're very happy so uh, praise the Lord for that and uh, uh, once again um, you guys have been very uh, supportive in everything we've been doing we appreciate it so uh, yeah we're gonna check on the chickens today let's see what they're up to <laughs> and uh, they're all looking very pretty they got food and water but the big question is I'm checking again because we're getting closer. Did we get some eggs yet? Sorry about the wind. Let's see if we got any eggs in there. I am not seeing any eggs yet. No eggs. It's coming one of these days. Of course, it's getting kind of chilly, so I don't know. But uh, gosh, sorry about the wind. This is how it is around here. Everything's cinched up here. So yeah, greenhouse. <laughs> still haven't had a chance to pick up the lumber. We might get that today. Uh, oh, the sun feels a lot better. Boy, in the shade, man, you can feel it. Compost bins working good. We've been, you know, it's kind of funny. You keep filling up your compost bins, and uh, they keep dropping. <laughs> it's like. We've been dumping stuff in there. I guess the composting's working. And what do we got here? Chickens! Hello, chickens! And puppies. And, uh, huh? I don't see. Maybe they're laying. I still don't see any eggs. Someday, I'm getting the eggs, and then I'm going to say, make it stop! <laughs> so, uh, one of the things I wanted to bring up is this is uh, apparently the beginning of our lockdown. It doesn't feel like it when you own property and you stay home a lot. But I want to put a, a prayer out, a, a best regards, and, and I ask anybody that's watching us to help support the small businesses. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've owned my own business. Uh, gosh, I have a restaurant nowadays. Uh, seems like some of the retail stores should be able to still function okay but this is so wrong um restaurant owners those are the ones that just break my heart i know how hard they work i've never owned a restaurant but i've had friends that have and uh it's uh it's a passion of people that own their own restaurants they they, they have um, a drive that a lot of people don't have and to be crippled like we're that's happening to them, uh, that the state's doing to them. Uh, 
I don't know. We just all need to do our best to try to help them and support them. And uh, I know a lot of them will go back to eating outside or delivery or whatever they can do. But uh, it's sad. It's so sad. Um, and yet the big, big box stores, no problem. They just open and they can do all that. But the little stores, little restaurants are being devoured. And it's just, we can't let that happen. It's up to us, uh, the locals. We need to step up and support our local businesses. Uh, even the smaller grocery stores, support them. I know they may be a little more expensive, but uh, you know, they're always there when we need them. So uh, yeah, guys, um, I just, I just, uh, I wish there was something we could do. Uh, the states, some states, they know how to handle it. Other states are just crippling businesses. And guys, it's really important to, uh, I mean, no, they're not homesteaders. No, they're not growing things. They're selling things. They're our uh, bread and butter. And we need them. And uh, uh, we need to support them. So guys, uh, I can't emphasize enough. Wh whatever we could possibly do to help our local businesses, we got to do it. Um, and, uh, you know... The more we lose, the harder it is for all of us to survive and do what we need to do. We need our local businesses. So uh, I know I intentionally stop at that little espresso store. I stop at that little grocery store that's too expensive. Buy a few things. Try to stop at the restaurants that, are, that you know you love, but they're down 25%. <clears throat> um, you got to help them. <clears throat> So is that enough preaching on that one? <laughs> guys, let's go out there and help our local business. So guys, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll get my lumber today. And uh, But Sherry, you know, had interviews and stuff, and it all went really good. And, and it's a happy day for our family. So um, praise the Lord for that. And uh, yeah, life moves on even with all this craziness going on. So have a great day, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.